to another Mukbang Monday. It's your favorite dinner between B Mars and Shanti. And we something that special today, which, which is by Chloe. So fun fact, we tried to do this video for like the past year, and they were always <laughs> here. Literally it's been a year. <laughs> it's it's been so long. They've always been out of their air baked fries, allegedly. Yeah, it was so weird. We would call and they'd be like, no one's down. I'm like, still? Yeah, like Isn't six this a later. major selling point for you guys? I know. But by Chloe is all vegan restaurant and they have locations um New York, Boston, LA, I think a couple other cities, and in Europe. They have yeah, some too. I saw that online. Yeah, so I hope you guys uh can eat this with us if yeah. it's by you. Or and if you have Eaten it before? Yeah. That sounds weird. Ate it before? Eaten it before? If you've tried it before. Wow. Can you go back to school? <laughs> uh, let us know in the comments below what your favorite menu item is from them. Yeah. Do you want to go through the whole spread? Yes. Shout out to the ears. Okay. So I got the kale Caesar salad with the dressing on the side. Mm. I think I've actually had this before. I don't really remember. To be honest, I've had by Chloe about two or three times and mm. I've never had a good experience. So I'm hoping they can change my mind. Whoa, the tea! I Everybody's know. Everybody's obsessed with it, and I'm like, it's not that good. Literally, sis. yeah. My friend was saying that she goes somewhere in Silver Lake, and every time she's like, I have to go to buy clothes. Oh, 365. Yeah. It's right next to it. Yeah, and I was just like, oh, okay. Um, I've never had it before, but we were separately looking at the menus, and Shanti loves meatball a meatball sub. sub. And when she told me what she was ordering, because we kind of like play off each other when we're ordering, because we want to get a good spread for you guys. Yeah. I was just like in shock that she didn't want to order it. Yeah, I've had the burger and the meatball sub and both of them, they're just so much bun to like meat ratio, you know? Yeah. You know what I had last night? What? The Federal's Vegan Wiener. Oh, I love that. It was good, and but they added, uh, whatever. Was the bun too bunny? It was a lot of bunny and then they added like a heaping mound of avocado. So every time I bit it, it was just a <laughs> chunk of avocado. Yeah, I don't I, like that. I don't know why they're trying to overpower the wiener so much. I love the wiener though. Like, yeah. It's good wiener. We're talking about a place in know-how. We should look on that place. Anyway, <laughs> getting off topic, I just had it last night, so. Oh, okay, so kale salad. Have you had this before there? I think so, but I don't remember. So, so it's, an, just, it's an all new experience. I'm just gonna try it again. <laughs> Cause I love kale Caesar salads. Um, we got the air baked fries, which uh, are so good. This is like the only like good thing about them. Yeah, they look a little squishy. <laughs> I swear to God, these fries aren't good. I've been waiting for these fries for so long. I got one regular and I got one like loaded one. Yeah, this looks special. Fa I think they're called like fancy fries. I got the mac and cheese, mm -hmm. the spinach artichoke or kale dip. I don't remember what it is. Some, Some kale and artichoke dip. Is that what it is? Mm -hmm. And I got the pesto pasta as well because I thought that'd be fun to try. Mm -hmm. And then you got... I got the Thai salad. I don't remember what's in it. Tempeh's in it. Yeah, tempeh. Um, peanut sauce. Did you get dressing on the side or? I got it on the side, yeah. Okay, pool. Pool. <laughs> I tried to say perfect <laughs> and cool. It's looking very kale -y. I'm kind of nervous. It said kale and romaine. Yeah. I was a little concerned about that for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then we, we also, also got, got iced tea. Doesn't this look so good? It looks so refreshing. I Can wish try it? I got an extra large. Cheers. That's the only size I had. Oh, I'm gonna Ooh. suck this down in five seconds. Mm. It's really good. Mm. The other thing about by Chloe that they're known for is their beet ketchup. But I forgot to ask for like extra beet ketchup. It's like self-serve, you know? Uh. So they only gave us one. And then I think this is sriracha mayo. Okay, fine. Whatever. <sighs> Can we dig in? I'm hangry, you yes. guys. What do you want to try? Just salads first? Or Can we try fries? Since we've been waiting for these bitches. Uh, well, I'm, I, now I want to try this beet. Beet ketchup? Beet ketchup. I'm, oh. Tits. Here, can we put this in the front so that I don't keep smashing it? Well, because I, I feel like it'll be more pretty to look at. There we go. Pretty. Okay. Fry time? Fry time. These, these look a little soft. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. They're good. Mm. They're just a little squishy. Yeah. Like they could have been air fried for five minutes longer. Yeah. Speaking of which, I might buy one of those. Max got a brand deal and they were trying to send him a mini fridge and I was like, no, we don't need a mini fridge. We barely fill our full fridge, like whatever. I've always wanted an air fryer. fryer. And that's what I thought. I was like, you know, I thought about getting the Instant Pot. Mm. But I thought air fryer we could do more things with. Yeah, I want to bake these longer. Yeah. Maybe because they were Postmates or something. Actually, no, you know, I kind of remember them being like this. But they got like a good flavor at least. They do, they have a good amount of salt. Do you want to try a loaded one? Yeah. Do you need a, a fork to eat them? Probably, well, 
I just got lucky with this one. Cheers. Ooh, that's a good one. It got everything on it. <laughs> Don't lose that. Ooh. Mmm. The meat. What is that? The crumble's really good. Yeah. I couldn't use my words. I was sign language and crumble. I knew what you meant. <laughs> is that crumble in sign language? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For me. <laughs> I love how you have so much faith in me. Like you think I know. I thought you might know. I don't like the A, B, C. Really? Wow, look at you go. I used to know the whole thing. I got you a fork. Oh, thank you. God, that is really good tea. It's good tea. Mm. Maybe. We're gonna bring you guys in a notch. How's that, guys? I'm a little bit more anti-amant. <laughs> I'm wearing the most obnoxious lipstick, so you're welcome. I, I used to like be more creative with the makeup in it's the beginning cool. of our bangs. Well, I feel like we went through a phase where we had like a shows every day and we were just like decked. Full face of makeup. Full face Felicia. And we thought for some reason that like we needed to wear a ton of makeup to like get viewers. We were like, we looked at other mukbangers and they were like lashes every time and stuff. Like Megan McCollum always looks like beautiful, beautiful and snatched. And I was like, that's what we need to do. And then we were like, <laughs> that's what we need to do. <laughs> and then like five seconds later, we we're like, this isn't us, sis. Like, we can't do yeah. this up. <laughs> we, like, go to film and we're like, we have to put makeup on. Yeah, literally every time I'm like, this looks great. I love the shreds. Is your shredded uh, like this? Yes, thank God. Max had the audacity to complain that our salad was too chopped last night. And I was like, we have come to our first disagreement because I love a good chopped salad. Yeah, who Less likes chewing. pieces of lettuce? Mmm. 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 Whoa, this is bomb. Wait, my dressing is mine. Yeah. Oh, mine's on the side. Did you want yours on the side? Only if I don't finish it, but it's fine. So yes. Yeah. <laughs> you Sorry. Up. No. I, I just always. I should have asked you. It's only when you try to save a salad because you know it gets mushy. Mhm. Mm this is so. I think. Mmm. This is really good though. Is it? You wanna try? Sure. You wanna try mine? I think. Uh, I've ordered this before and it's too much dressing when you get it like as is. So that's why maybe mm. I didn't like it. This one's good. It's not too wet. I hate when a salad is like mushy. Stopping. Yes, yeah, so like your um, Chick Fil A salad. Yes. So like, oh like, my god. Oh, that was so gross. That shit drives me nuts. I agree. Let me get some on before. Whoa, the flavors. Right? Did you get a tempeh? I got a tempeh. Yeah. Thank you for taking one. No, I wanted you to. It's like really key ingredient. Mhm. Mm and the crispy wontons. You love the crispy wonton. I do. Mmm. You don't like it much? Yours it's I feel like it tastes the kale more. This one's like hiding it. I didn't put the dressing on. Oh no, I dipped in it. Oh, you did? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, I like mine better. <laughs> I'm glad. Mm. And to make sure I don't sit up too high. Oh <laughs> yeah. I'll like hunch down. There's just a mouth dog. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. I can ace some more. Somebody had the audacity. This is the tea, sister. To comment on my spicy noodle curry video. Which are really good, by the way. Mm, I watched it last night. Somebody said, these noodle videos are getting boring. There are other spicy things like come to them. And I was like, since when is a noodle boring? Noodles are A, my totally favorite to disagree. watch. Like, anytime someone uploads a noodle video, I'm like, yeah, I want that. Well, maybe she just doesn't like noodles. Like, I love noodles, so I could never get sick of people watching, right? Pe watching people eat noodles. And I could never get sick of eating them. So I was like... Let me know in the comments, like, is this a thing? Like, are you all getting over noodles? I don't think we eat that many noodles. Like, me neither. I was thinking recently we've been eating a lot of, like, Mexican foods. Yeah. And Not noodles. But that spicy noodle challenge I did in ASMR, I posted, like, eight months ago. So they were like, oh, yeah. So I was like, it's not, like, it's been a while. I try to spread them out. I try not to do, like, the same things over and over. Maybe they meant, like, noodles, like, on mukbang, mukbangers. And as a community? Yeah. I was offended. <laughs> How dare you? Just like noodles. Because every time I eat noodles, I'm like, mm. yeah, I love watching people eat noodles. My God, too. Especially when they Hoover Dam. And I would Hoover back. <laughs> That's literally how I eat. That's my style of eating. <laughs> I'm I tried really hard. Did you notice I was chewing? Like I, I have to think about because you know me. I just like I suck them down. And like water. so many people were like, you need to chew your food. So this time I was chewing them, but it was so spicy. So I was like. I was really surprised that you could like 
eat that many at once while it was so spicy. That was really impressive. I didn't watch to the end to see your rash though. It's bad. I don't know why. Well, I was like falling asleep. I was, I was like, no, I was watching it as I was in bed, you know? Yeah, yeah. So I just like fell asleep. Um, I, let's try this deal. People were like, wow, maybe Oops. you should stop eating spicy food. I'm like, listen, Huns. You get a rash like- I get a rash like- If you're like two degrees too hot. <laughs> I like cry one tear and it's like, pff, rash. <laughs> Literally last night I had one wow, glass so of wine, like white wine, not even red wine, and I had a rash. So annoying. You got like- I think that's like people with like paler skin. My friend Jill mm. that would happen to. You like it? I like it. You don't like it? I had a weird taste to it. Right, right. Like, what is that flavor? Cleanse the palate. Yeah, and like even when I work out and I run and stuff, like my legs always get so red and itchy. Mm. And I just think I have like blood circulation problems. Like how I've told you guys it's hard for me to break a sweat and like my face just gets really red and whatever. I don't, I don't know. Huh. There's got to be like some sort of like reasoning behind that. I know. I, I could ask a doctor or like get blood work done, but it's just too busy for research. my health. Oh, yeah. Have you searched it? Self-diagnosed, you know. That's how yeah. we work. <laughs> it's just, good. I wish it was more uh, creamy or something. It's very chunky. I don't mind the chunky. It just has a weird flavor. What is that? Hmm. Oh. Mm. 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 okay. I used to love- Oh, you got Doc Martens. Mm-hmm. My other- <laughs> Talk about ADD. I love a good combat boot. I've, the last years- The last two years I had these Steve Madden boots. Combat boots. Mm -hmm. Before that I had the same exact boot for- Boot. Boot. For two years. And then the, it started like flopping apart. Yeah, right? literally the- Where the toe like bends just like cracked in half. And it's been raining nonstop in LA. Mm. And I just realized my feet were wet inside of my shoe. And I was like- Time to buy new shoes. I like love having new shoes, so I really like practice self control. Like, I really want to buy some like Air Force Ones, or mm. I really want to buy some white Air Maxes, but they never have my size. But I already have like white Adidas shoes, so I'm like, you don't need it, but I want it. Mm. So shoes are really hard for me. I used to be a sneakerhead in high school, I had all the dunks. I've seen them, I miss them. I've sold a lot of them. Uh. Excuse me. I'm gonna try mac and cheese. You wanna try it? No. Oh. I'm not a big mac and cheese person, but this sounded so good. Like, if I go to a restaurant, oh, you're smelling. <laughs> I wouldn't order mac and cheese. <laughs> like, basically, all got on my sock. Here you go. Thanks. What did I come out of? Is that on? Huh. Mmm. Yeah, I never order mac and cheese, but I used to eat it so much growing up. Hmm. It's okay. It's not very saucy. Not very saucy. That's exactly what I was thinking. It tastes like pasta. Pasta. Weird. Like I can see there's sauce on it. Yeah, it just tastes like nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's a disappointment. Let's try that. This one's pesto. You like pesto, right? Yeah. Ooh, different type of nudes. Ooh, this one looks creamy. Yeah. I wonder what people are getting mm. from by Chloe that they're like losing their shit over. I wonder too. Mm. I like that one. That one's way better. I think people like their burgers, but maybe they don't mind eating in like an entire 100% bun <laughs> to 0% <laughs> <Two percent> burger. <laughs> That's really funny. I remembered, or I was thinking of stuff that we could talk about today, but I literally cannot remember for the life of me. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, I remembered what we could talk about today. I'm ready. Okay, really triggering, sensitive topic. Did you watch the Michael Jackson documentary? No, but I need to. Everyone yeah, keeps talking about it. It's so f***ed up. It's, wait, should we save this until I watch it and do a whole mukbang uh, on it? I don't know if we should talk about it because it's so bad. Let us know in the comments below if you watch the Michael doc- Leaving Neverland. Why can't I speak today? <laughs> Michael Jackson documentary. The Michael Jackson documentary. Michael Jackson documentary. Um, Finding Neverland. Leaving Neverland. Leaving Neverland. I've heard so many mixed things about it. I was talking to the people in my acting class about it. Really? I was talking to my friend Marilyn about it. Yeah. What do they think? That it's effed up and that he did it. Oh yeah. I I thought yeah. Marilyn is like such a big Michael Jackson fan. She's one of my best friends. She like thinks that the kids are like um, just trying to get money. 
Because they're like, why would they do this 10 years later? I haven't watched it yet, but if you guys have watched it, let us know in the comments below if you guys want us to do a whole Monday like documentary review. You know, we did that with Shane Dawson videos. We did that with like the 10 reasons, 13 reasons why. I feel like there's nothing Game of Thrones much so to talk about on it though. Really? Without going into like detail, like. Honestly, okay. Without really having graphic. seen the documentary, I kind of always thought he was guilty. Really? Like growing up, just. Because why would you sleep in a bed with other children? Exactly. Even if you weren't. I don't think he did it out of malice. Like, I don't think he's, like, some evil person, I think. He's fucked up in the head. He's so messed up. Look at his childhood. Like, his dad beat the shit out of him his whole life. We made him so famous from, like, six years old on that, like, for one of his birthdays, he wanted to go to a grocery store and, like, just shop. Like, that guy was so messed up. And it was halfway, so like, you know, society's fault, his parents' fault, whatever. I think from what I've, and I'm no, I'm no expert, don't come for me in the comments but every like sociology podcast i listen to like brain ones talks about the sword and scale one we listened to there was one that was like talking about how a sociopath the the frontal lobe doesn't light up being a sociopath doesn't mean you're going to be a murderer or a rapist or whatever but usually rapists and murderers or whatever are sociopaths because they don't have that empathy and the difference is how you were treated growing up I'm pretty sure Michael Jackson was stuck as a child. As a child. Like, from like his circumstances, the nature of nurture, everything, like. You just think he was a sick person. I think he was a sick person. I don't know. Like, well, there's no. Reason. You should watch the documentary. I'm going to. But. But I heard it's like four hours. It is. It's a commitment. It's. It doesn't feel like four hours though. Huh? Yeah, me and Colin watched it, and Colin like never wants to like sit down and watch stuff. Hmm. But it's crazy to me. I'm sorry if you're one of these people that thinks he isn't guilty. I just don't know how you can watch that. No, okay. I feel like most people who haven't watched it are like, they just want money. He's, he could never do that. And especially like Michael Jackson fans, like they talk about in the documentary how everybody like viewed him as a god. Yeah, literally. That's the thing. They, they can't love see him so that. much totally. for his talent that you can't. There's like a wall. Exactly. Yeah. And I understand his family like wanting to like defend him. But Obviously, of I, course. I don't see how you can watch that and still think there's no chance that these guys are lying. And then, oh, we also watched the Oprah. She did like another special on it too, where she like interviewed them. I don't understand. Like, they must be like the best actors in the world if they're like lying. Really? It's yeah. You have to watch it. Oh I God, I'm gonna watch uh, it. I don't think we should do a full bang on it because it's very. No. Yeah, I don't think we should talk about it anymore. Right, but this could be a little something you think about it. I yeah. want to watch it. I'll comment. My thoughts, but yeah, I don't know. I feel like you're definitely gonna think that. I was kind of did like, why would you cuddle with kids? Like, yeah, like you would just sleep with them and not touch it. Like, I don't know. What actually we could debate about is whether you think the parents should be to blame for allowing them to be in that position. I think it's a ha it's a half and half because in the beginning. I'm thinking about myself as a kid and like what if I had the opportunity to meet I don't know Michael Jackson wasn't it for me that's like a little before our time but like Britney Spears right like or Spice Girls like if I could have met the Spice Girls when I was around you know Wade Robson's age I would have died like I was scary Spice internally like I <laughs> loved her more than anything I never really gotten to Spice Girls oh my god but so like if my parents like had found an opportunity for me to meet them like they kn that they would have known that would have like made my world right. Mm -hmm. So obviously that w they would do that if like they could. Just watch bomb. But I think it becomes the parents' fault when they keep bringing them back. Maybe I need to watch a documentary. But yeah. like the first time you meet somebody, okay, oh they want to make your kid a star. That's amazing. The second that he's like, you need to stay in a separate room and you can't hang out with us, and I want them to do sleepovers. Then I'm like, um, no matter how famous someone is, that should like be some red flag. It seemed like their relationship with their parent moms was were like destroyed. Like they didn't t talk to their like their whole family was like destroyed. It seemed like after they came out, like they were both like just like so angry with their moms. I like, could not forgive them for like putting them in that situation, you know. But I feel like the the moms were groomed by Michael too. Like he would he bought one of the families a house. Like he would I don't know, just like. Like, the moms were, like, wooed by him as well. Yeah. Well, that's the thing, is people see fame. Even, like, 
yeah, they like couldn't see past the fame. Because Michael Jackson so was the most famous person in the world. Like one point, like he was the innovator of his time. Like the way he danced, exactly. his music style, everything was just like, he was like the Beatles. Like it was like one of those people that are just like insane. Can you listen to Michael Jackson music anymore? Um, I mean, I never really did to be honest, unless it's like on the radio. Oh, like, yeah. I, would, I would just play Michael Jackson for fun. I would. You would? Yeah. Yeah, I used to listen to him all the time. I mean, I'm definitely, every time I hear it, I'm gonna think of those little boys. Yeah, I'm gonna think this guy's I guess they're grown ass men boys now, but. I've gotta watch it. Yeah, you do. Um, should we wrap it up? If you wanna still eat. I think we've been filming for a while. Yeah, I'm getting kind of full. Yeah? That's a lot of food. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite? Probably the salad. I really like it. But I've been trying to eat more of the chips, you know, gotta get the many smart sounds in. <laughs> what about you? I'd say definitely the salad. Um, and I love those loaded fries. The worst is the mac. Uh -huh. No flavor. And second verse is a dip. I don't mind the dip. Really? Mm -hmm. It tastes like rotten onions. I didn't want to say that on camera, but I'm just gonna say it. I taste like moldy onions. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, it, ugh. Uh, well, this bang took a turn. Crazy, Crazy. turn. Crazy. Let us know if you guys have watched Leaving Neverland and what you think about it. It is such a controversial, like, I feel like people either are like, he definitely is guilty or he definitely um, it's like, not. Yeah, they're trying to get money. Yeah, they're just trying to get money. They, the boys are lying. I'm really curious. I'll let you know when I watch it. I'll call you and we'll have a little powwow about it. I'm nervous though. Mm, I don't like that. You should try that. On a lighter note, let's just end this. Mm. Did you see Jeffree Star's new palette drop? The blue blood? Blue blood? Mm -hmm. I mean, I won't buy it because like I literally only wear brown eyeshadows because I'm boring as fuck, but it looked really beautiful. I didn't see the colors, I just saw like the packaging. I watched it this morning. Oh, really? Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> Wait, I thought that him and uh, Shane were coming out of the palette. When's that happening? I don't know. I haven't for a while. It seems like they're doing a whole TV show about them. Mm. Did you see Shane and Jeffrey's video? Cleaning out the closet? I watched the first half of it and then I got bored. It was kind of boring. It was really boring. Mm -hmm. Sorry. I love them both, but couldn't get behind that. I still watched it because I... It was boring, but I was like, I'm sure gonna watch it. Yeah. That's how I felt about Ryland's, like, cat toy review. Yeah. Boring, but, like, I watched the whole thing. Also, I felt like he was really aggressive with Cheeto. Yeah, same. Did you see that? He was, like, throwing him around. I was like, I was like, be nice to Cheeto. Also, Cheeto, like, know your cat. Like, Cheeto is not an active cat. No offense. Not that I hang out with him. But, like, Based I feel like... In video? Yeah. Like, Cairo would use that, like, cat wheel. He's a psycho. Yeah. But I don't know if Bert would. I don't know, Bert likes, Maybe. I don't, he doesn't like to run, but he likes to like play. Yeah. So I don't know. But like, know your cat, like, Allie's cat, her new kitten, would live for that wheel. Really? Fred would have not touched it with an eight foot pole. My yeah. like cat growing up. Like, you know your cat, I don't, I, whatever. He did it for the views. If he wants to give me that cat wheel, I'm happy to take it. Yeah, and also he was like, like Cheeto was like scared of the box and he like throws him in it. Yeah. I was like, no, he's scared. <laughs> Be nice to him. I know, I felt really bad for Cheeto. Anyways, <laughs> what other videos have you watched recently so we can end it on a happier note? Um, I think that's it. I've been so busy. You have been busy. Which is great. I'm getting a lot of callbacks. Nice. I'm not booking anything. <laughs> oh, we should my have had these like stand up. Wow. Regrets. Yeah. <laughs> Regrets. Oh my god, me and Brittany went to an audition and we both got cut. I was like, furious. I vlogged it. Oh yeah, are you gonna post it? I don't know. I talked I to my cut, friend. So I don't want to post it anymore. I talked to my friend Hannah who booked it. They still don't even know the dates or the time or anything. It's supposed to be this weekend. Yeah, I know. She was like, they still haven't sent out like time slots or anything, so she's kind of nervous. Like the whole thing got scrapped. Really? Yeah. I love Hannah. I'm obsessed with her. I wish you would introduce me to her. Why didn't you tell me that? Well, what was I gonna say? Me to Hannah. Yeah, that's exactly what while you should say. While you're sitting across from her. I literally like work with her now. I drove with her to work last night. I know. Okay, well, <clears throat> we follow each other on Instagram. We don't really need to talk about this on camera. 
But we follow each other on Instagram. I'm literally obsessed with her. Oh, she knows who you she's are. So yeah, I know who she is too, but I didn't want to be like, are you Hannah? Hi. That's what you should I'll follow me on Instagram. Tell me. <laughs> I'm happy to introduce. I just like assumed you knew each other. Just like you knew Jean. I don't know. Okay, I'm officially full. Me too. All right, guys. This was all over the place. So whatever you took from that, comment <laughs> below. <laughs> if you like by Chloe, let us know by giving this video. Whoa, I just got so stuffed up. A big thumbs up. Are you allergic to Bert? I'm allergic to bitches. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sometimes I make jokes and then immediately I'm like, am I a middle school boy? Like, I don't know. I think you are. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, I'm full. Let us know if you like by Chloe or if you think it's just mediocre. Yeah, like it was good, but I'm not going to go to Silver Lake for this shit. Yeah. I feel like people are like, have you been to by Chloe? Yeah. You're vegan, have you been to by Chloe? Have you heard of it? Yeah. Is it so bad? I think because it's like cute. Like the packaging is really cute. Yeah. And the food was very Instagrammable. That's what I mean. Yeah. They did it for the views, not for the taste. We are opposites. Opposite of, we are together, but we're opposite of, we prefer taste. <laughs> <laughs> that was really hard for me. We love you guys so much. And we'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out.